Hi, I'm Darren Posey. I'm one of the product marketing managers for AppPulse. I'm really excited to share with you some of the new innovations. So let's get to it. Now that we're logged into AppPulse Mobile, the first thing you're going to see is that for every application, we give you a Fundex. This is a user rating that's supposed to be non-subjective between a score of 0 and 100. And how do you lose points? You can lose points by, based on performance, stability, and resource utilization. And we've went ahead and looked at some of the industry standards for these, but you can also do some minor adjustments for each application you create as well to make these numbers be extremely meaningful to you. And they allow you to understand why you're getting these ratings and then to improve them. So in this scenario, we see that we're losing nine points due to crashes. And we want to understand that further. And you know, why did that take place? You can also look and see that if you slide down, that on previous versions of this application, for instance, 2.9, our rating was a 99. But then as we made further releases, 3.0 and 3.1, our Fundex continued to drop. So if we want to understand why the stability is giving us this rating, we can click on it and drill in. And then from here, we can understand what it is that's taking away those points. Very quickly, we can see that 232 users were affected when they tapped the scan button. You can take this further and say, well, what, what happened when they tapped the, the scan button? And what this will do is take you to the stack trace. So you can see very visually where uh, you know, the application failed and what the customer was experiencing. But we take it further. We tell you what application they're on, what OS, what version of the device they are on, what kind of connection they have, and so forth, so that you can reproduce the issue. Taking it a little bit further, you can look at the crash trail and say, what led up to this? What did my user do to experience this crash? And you can say, okay, they logged in and they were connected to these servers and they went through these series of clicks. And then when they went to tap the scan button to scan a check, the application crashed. But if you wanted to take this further, you could click the submit defect button and this connects directly into uh, JIRA and other bug tracking devices to allow you to send this information directly to your dev team so they can investigate it and fix the bug quickly. So it gets the stack trace, the flow, the environment that the customer was in. You can set the severity of the is issue and go ahead and submit that case directly. So now you're not working on a tool that's all by itself, but it integrates with your existing tools to help you get to the problems quicker and solve those problems and improve your user experience. Another area that we think is really worth mentioning is our user behavior. From here, you can select a time frame of a, a day or more, and you can um, look and see how your users are moving through your application and understand you know, why they're exiting and if they're experiencing slowness, what that experience is like. And this is our big data play. We take an enormous amount of data and put it into a readable, understandable visual flow so that users can understand what um, parts of the application they're interacting with. And if something doesn't look right, um, you can address it. Here we marked the, the orange where the performance is very poor. And anywhere, I'm sorry, we marked the orange wherever the user leaves the application. And you might find users that are, are leaving the application in the wrong space. And then we also mark crashes in red. So you can say, okay, out of all of these visually, the one that needs my attention the most is the one that has the red next to it. And then you can explore why um, that release has that issue and you can um, send that information back to your, your team to continue to uh, investigate and, and fix it. With over 2,500 different devices currently on the market and over 12 different OSs and multiple versions of your application, it can become very tricky to isolate, focus, and improve your app. So we've created tools that allow you to really understand what those different um, permutations come to. So in this image here that we're looking at, um, we can see that for KitKat version 4.4.2, there's a major outlier here of 5.74 seconds versus the average experience is you know, much, much better. So you can take and drag and drop this into the window on the right here, and then it'll isolate and focus just to those devices. And then you see that there's only these four that are really having an issue. And you can go back to your development team and say, hey, we've experienced some slowness for these uh, exact device types. And then you can put your dollars where you need to, to, to improve your application. 
Another key feature is user actions. Since we track every button, click, press, and swipe on the device, we track in the, not only the number, where they were, what screen they're on, what action they took, and what the average response time is, but you can actually see over time what that response time is for people. But to drill even further, you can see what elements made up that. Because most modern devices don't are complete, not completely in-house, you may have third parties that are part of your offering. And so you want to make sure that you can understand what those are doing for the impact of your application. And this allows you to see more of the end-to-end -end response time and to be able to understand where you need to focus your attention. Well, thank you for sharing your time with me during this demo. If you want to learn more, and we hope you do, go to sas.hpe.com and sign up for your free trial so you can check out these products for yourself. Thank you.